Hey guys, it's Dantelion. So in this video, I'll show you guys how to get the glory of the Pandaria Raider achievement. Now, this achievement will award you with the reins of the Heavenly Crimson Cloud Serpent, which is a very cool looking mount. Now, before I'm going to start explaining what you should be doing to get these achievements, um, I just want to say that you will not be able to get the glory of the Pandaria Raider in one week. And that's basically because there is an achievement called Power Overwhelming. This one requires you to come back three times to the Terrace of Endless Springs. There's also another achievement called Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Better. This one can't be soloed, so you will need another person for it. So if you have a friend or maybe a guildie or anything like that, you will be able to get this achievement very easy, so don't worry about it. It just requires you to get another extra person. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's start with these achievements. Okay guys, so as always, make sure your raid is on heroic difficulty, because you have to kill 15 of these bosses on heroic. Now after you have done that, go into the raid and we will start with must love dogs. Now this achievement is very easy to do. All you gotta do is summon your perky pug or your core hunt pup. If you don't have any of those, then you can try your auction house to find a fox kit, which is basically a fox. I'm not sure how much it costs nowadays because I bought mine back in Cataclysm. So yeah, whenever you have one of these pets, just summon it and move over to the boss. Just kill it and that's how you get your achievement. Okay, so next up is the achievement which requires you to come here with another person. This achievement is called Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Better. Now, what you have to do is defeat Fang the Accursed in either normal or heroic, but we are doing it on heroic. After mimicking each of the following abilities. Epicenter, Lightning Fist, Wildfire Spark, Arcane Velocity and Arcane Resonance. Now, what you want to do is have someone go into a tank spec and have someone going into a DPS spec. So the tank has to face the boss and just aggro him but don't damage him. Whenever you do that, the boss will start casting Epicenter and Lightning Fists eventually. So you want to replicate Epicenter. Now this is very easy to do. You just want to target the other character in your party and whenever the boss is going to cast Epicenter, you want to use the gem ability on your party member. Now whenever you do that, you will get Epicenter as an ability and you just want to cast it whenever you are targeting the boss. Now the most important thing here is that you have to face the boss otherwise it won't count. So don't forget that. So after you have reflected Epicenter, you want to start reflecting Lightning Fist. The way you do this is by having the DPS character walk into these lightning strikes on the ground and hope that he gets stunned. Now, the thing is, this ability is a pain in the ass because whenever you are max level, your stun chance is very, very low. So you might be sitting here for around 10 minutes just to get this achievement. I don't know if unequipping your gear will help, but... You can try it. Now after you have replicated Lightning Fist, you can push the boss to around 65% HP and that way he will go into phase 2. Whenever you enter phase 2, he will either go into his fire phase or his arcane phase and depending on which phase you just want to replicate the ability. So if he's going to his fire phase, you want to replicate Wildfire Spark and use it back on him. Whenever he has done that, you want to push him to 30% HP and he will be in his last phase. So. If he went into his arcane phase in phase 2, he will be going into his fire phase in phase 3. Once you have replicated all the abilities that you need, the epicenter, the lightning fists, the wildfire spark, the arcane velocity and arcane resonance, then you can just nuke down the boss and you will have your achievement. Okay, so the next achievement that we are going to do is called Sorry, Are You Looking For This? Now, this achievement is soloable, however, I would suggest you do it with the extra person that's already here since you probably have been doing the previous achievement too. It's way easier to do it that way. But if you want to solo it, you can do it on a warlock or a mage or a hunter. I think a monk can do it too, but I'm not sure I haven't tried it. Now what you want to do if you are going to solo it, you basically want to set your pet next to the boss and have it aggro it and then just move to the other side of the room. And all you gotta do then is just wait and kill these totems whenever they spawn. Eventually you get summoned into the shadow realm and you just want to click the chest as fast as possible. If you don't do it fast enough, this whole encounter will just reset and you gotta do it again. Now, if you are doing this with an extra person, it's even easier. All you have to do is just wait and sit. And eventually one of you will be teleported into the Shadow Realm and that person just has to click the chest and you will have your achievement. The next achievement that we are going to do is called straight six. Now, what you have to do for this achievement is basically walk over towards the boss and get him to 65% HP. Now. At that moment he will start channeling these orbs and these orbs will start flying towards these pylons. What you want to do is just wait till they reach the pylons and whenever they do 
you want to kill the pylons as fast as possible. So you are going to run in a circle and all you are going to do is nuke these pylons as fast as you can. Now whenever you have done that, you can go back onto the boss and just kill him. And that way you'll have your achievement. Next up we have Power Overwhelming. Now this achievement is very easy to do, but it's also an annoying achievement because you have to wait 3 weeks until you get it. So the way this works is you enter this raid and you see these 3 fish boys standing there. Now all you have to do is keep one of them as the last member standing and then kill it. So if you are going to kill the one with the sword as the last member standing, the next week you want to come back and kill for example the one that's channeling lightning as the last member standing. And after that the other one. And that way you'll have your achievement. So the next achievement is called who's got two green thumbs. Now all you have to do for this is run over to the dragon and nuke the living hell out of it. What we are going to do now is an achievement called face clutchers. Now what you want to do is basically get the boss to 25% HP and don't kill him because I almost one shotted him so be careful. After that you want to jump in the water and find a parasite and basically what you want to do is swim towards it and it will just stick to your head eventually. And whenever that happens you want to go to the boss and nuke it whenever you have this parasite on your head. Okay guys, so now it's time to do the hardest achievement in this whole series of achievements and it's called the Mind Killer. Now all you have to do here is walk over towards the boss and just destroy him. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Okay, so now we only have to do 4 more achievements and we have to do those in the Heart of Fear. Now, what we are going to do here first is an achievement called Overzealous. This achievement is very easy to do. All you want to do is engage the boss and immediately go to the left side of the stairs and there's this bug laying around. Now you just have to click the bug and you can kill the boss. That's basically all you have to do. Okay, so the next achievement that we are going to do is called Candle in the Wind. Now all you have to do for this one is get the boss down to 20% HP. So be careful with what kind of gear you are wearing. Um, you don't want to kill the boss, so be careful with that. Now, whenever he enters phase two, which is when he reaches 20% HP, um, he will start blowing you into a direction with all kind of tornadoes and stuff. Now at that moment, there will be these braziers on the ground in the middle, which will give you a buff. And with that buff, you can light up these unlit braziers. Now you have four unlit braziers, two on the left side and two on the right side of the room. Now to make it yourself easier, you should start with lighting the candles first that are in the direction that you are blown. After you have done that and you have lit these two braziers, all you want to do then is get to the boss and get him to 10% HP. Now you want to do the same thing again and light up these other two braziers. Now whenever you have done that, just nuke the boss and you have your achievement. For the next achievement called like an arrow to the face, all you have to do is single target damage Garrelon till he's dead and don't attack any of his legs because if you do that the achievement will fail. So that's all you have to do. Next up is the achievement called less than 3. All you have to do is walk over towards the boss and single target damage him down. That's all you gotta do. Don't AoE anything here or you will fail this achievement. Okay guys, so now we only need 2 more achievements. Now the next achievement that we are going to do is called I heard you like Amber. Now this achievement is very easy to do. All you have to do is stand still and the boss will start summoning these living embers. Now all you have to do is kill 8 of these living embers on each other and that's all you gotta do. So you are just going to single target damage these blobs and keep killing them on each other until you have 8 of these pools laying down there. Eventually the boss will start transforming you into this abomination or something. What you can do then is just single target damage these blobs with your one ability and after you've done that he will start summoning a bigger ad just kill that ad too and eventually go on to the boss kill him and that's how you get your achievement So next up is the last achievement that we are going to do, which is called Timing is Everything. Now this achievement is very easy to do, however you will need a class that has either a pet or a monk that has a totem. So what you are going to do is place your monk totem or your pet near the boss and you are just going to walk to the back of the room and you are just going to sit and wait. Now whenever the energy bar of 
the boss reaches zero, she will start spawning these ads and basically you just gotta kill these ads within 10 seconds of each other. That's basically it. Whenever that happens, you just want to nuke down the boss as fast as you can because she will start spamming this mind control thing and whenever she does that, the fight will reset. Whenever you kill the boss, you will have your achievement and that's basically all the achievements that you need for this mount. So yeah, guys, that's basically all I have for you guys today. If you liked this video and if it helped you in any way, don't forget to leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below. Now, if you have any questions or maybe suggestions, just let me know in the comment section too or contact me on Twitter or on Discord. Now, I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.